Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Tudor Frank and we are still learning Search 50 account in 2021. In the next class right now, we are going to learn how to create our inventory items. Uh, inventory are actually the items you wish to sell or the list of services you want to offer to your clients in a company. So I will go straight to inventory and click when i click on inventory i have these options all over then uh, if you can check the list of inventory we have nothing inside in our inventory so i'll just come down to inventory items i click here and i click on remember we have this other bar for company services but i will first start with inventory items so i click here and i click on new inventory items and i open this dialog box there are a lot of stuff on this box which we might not want to fill but the most important ones, the required ones, are the ones we cannot fill. So the first thing I want to fill here, like let's say my company is selling laptops. So I will just come here and type the name of the, okay, an ID. Every item inside 50 must have an item ID, which is a unique number that can be used to identify that item. So I can just say 101 is actually my first item. And the item description can be HP hp 15 laptop okay uh, remember these items are not actually in stock right now because we haven't purchased these items but we are just listing the items we would love to sell in our company so the item class i can choose a class like let's say um stock items and then i go ahead and click on self and having click on self i can click on new and then move to the next one. I can call the next one now. Um, Dell um, desktop. Dell desktop um, computer. Sorry, this was not supposed to be typed here. So um, I'm going to cut this off and type the item ID 102. Now, description is actually where we type uh, Dell desktop. Um, since the computer cannot enter a system, desktop system, um, item idea or code is a uh, item class stock item. Then I click on self, actually create like four different items. So I go to new again and I click the next one. I can call the next one, um, 103. And 103, the item ID can be an items like, uh, let's call it uh, um, um so let's say um okay let's call it hp printer hp printer you can specify the item type the item model like uh, laser jet you just say lj laser jet 1 200 okay then item class I call it stock item then I go ahead and click on self I uh, can go to new and add the last one in this session I'll say 104 my 104 I can call it uh, can actually call the item can call this item uh, let's say uh, um, uh, Microsoft keyboard Microsoft keyboard item class stock item then I click on self all right to see your list of our items you will have to close this by clicking close and then you either refresh this if I refresh by clicking these are items stock and returning back I uh, should be able to see my items appearing right here so these are my list of inventory items appearing right here if you want to edit or work on any of them you can click this button and then you will see view and edit inventory items clicking on this we will bring back the list of your inventory items right here because the unit price is zero last unit cost is zero because we haven't bought these items yet so the next thing after adding up your items you can add up as many items as you wish to add up then after adding up your items the next thing you want to look at 
is um, creating our vendors records because before you can go to customers remember the process is quite very simple you add up your you create a company you create a list of inventory items and then um, next thing you do is that uh, you create your vendors information because you are going to purchase from vendors so you create your vendors account for example now if i'm to be buying items from hp and dell and microsoft i have to create an account for the shop as in the supplier that will be supplying these items to me then at the end of the day i can now after creating the the account i mean after creating information of the suppliers i will move ahead to purchase items from the suppliers pay for the items before i can now create customers and and start selling to customers so we have to follow the due process so in this video we were to learn how to create inventory items and i've been able to create four inventory items here to show you as an example if you want to print your list of inventory you can click here to print your list of inventory with text directly to your printer for printing you can click here to send this list to someone through email or send it to excel or move this to pdf but this can only be done sending to email can only be done if your computer is connected to the internet so we've done with this video in the next video we will also learn how we can create our services Thank you very much. I am to the Frank. See you in the next video. God bless you.